Right now, if you check out Twitter, Binance is trending on the technology section with over 400,000 tweets. It's not just Binance, but you have Saitama, Kishu, and also Floki Inu all trending heavily. So you have this big correlation. I think it's the beginning of the year, and I think people are like, yeah, I'm tired of being broke. I want to invest in some pretty crazy stuff and hopefully I get rich. And this is why we're slowly seeing more and more people dumping money into a lot of these altcoins. Now, I do have the candlesticks here in the three-minute interval, and things are looking pretty interesting. So let's dissect the technical analysis and look at what's going on, what's going to happen in the next few hours. So recently, we do have a somewhat plateau of price. You do have Shiba Inu go from 2.8 to 4.0, and then you do have these pretty massive drops, these sell-offs, but you do see this massive plateau. It has essentially bottomed out. On top of that, some of the sell orders have gotten smaller, smaller, and smaller, and also even smaller, and they're virtually non-existent right now. So afterwards, we do have it hitting 3.3, going up to 3.4, and then you do have another pretty big sell-off over here, drops down to 3.2, rallies back up to 3.4, small sell-off over here to 3.35, and then we do have a small sell over here, not really that big of a deal, but more recently in the past few minutes, we do have a pretty massive rally from 3.37 to roughly 3.443. So you do see the VARM having a sudden spike up. Initially, there was a pretty big sell off over here. You do have volume skyrocketing, but it was easily matched by a lot of bull orders. So what does this mean? It means that yes, there's still bears on the market, but the bears are barely alive. All right, it's mostly bulls. And even though this volume was extremely high, just as high as this, you also see that the price fluctuation was very small, meaning that the sell orders were easily matched by the same amount of buy orders. But afterwards, bears were out of money. They were out of juice. They couldn't sell any more shares. They couldn't short it either. And then guess what? All you need to do is to inject the same amount of volume as before. And instead of having this small, measy gain, you had a gain that was this enormous. It was pretty big. So somebody was trying to send the prices up. So far, let's just see what happens. I think Shiba Inu is going through a really interesting time. You do see the correlations here and you do see the beautiful stabilization. I don't really see Shiba Inu dropping any further, but instead I think Shiba Inu is on the path to actually slowly rise up. Sure, you're gonna be having some short-term price fluctuations, but as long as Shiba Inu goes up, drops down a little bit and stabilizes and just simply go up slow and steady, we could be seeing a huge inflow of the amount of new traders. Thanks for watching guys and see you later.